5G without the vertical markets is unthinkable. We've seen plenty of white papers listing key verticals and numerous use cases. But does the telecoms industry really know the requirements of these vertical markets? Have these industries been invited to the standards table and are they being treated as equal partners in the creation of 5G services and capabilities? I think it's essential in 5G to let the users speak first as opposed to the mobile industry be it operators or vendors speak first. If you look back at our history in 3G maybe the vendors spoke first and we had a great mobile broadband experience. LTE operators perhaps spoke first and we have a nicely deployable system that can serve the needs of many people in mobile broadband arena. But now we need to allow the users speak first. And the users of 5G systems will no longer be limited to consumers or even enterprises, but their primarily application, new application domain will be on the verticals. So it's key that we get their requirements into the system. But I think this requires a change of mindset. For the last 30 years, mobile industry has been at the epicenter of high technology. And I think we need to make sure that this time we're comfortable with supporting other industries as they utilize mobilization and digitization to transform their, their own way of doing business. This is a big challenge for 5G. If we want to address uh, this news use case uh, like uh, Industry 4.0 or uh, self-driving car, uh, for sure we can create partnership uh, with uh, other players of their industry and uh, uh, explain uh, the, the very important value of the standardization in order to have common framework to, to, to implement uh, let me say, the, the digital transformation, the digital life, uh, digital society, digital economy. 5G will cover multiple use cases. By the way, use cases that are still under definition. Uh, we, we hope to see, and we are sure actually, that uh, 5G will cover also new industry segments. Automotive, for instance. Automotive, in general, is a great uh, uh, market opportunity but also great opportunity for developing new technology. We welcome already in the 4G are investing uh, heavily in that segment and the, the platform we just announced is going in, in that direction meaning that uh, we have already products in uh, multiple cars commercially available in the street 3G and 4G is uh, facilitating a process that is already in place meaning in terms of technology and commercial products. It's not just about waiting, you know, uh, when 5G will be commercially available and then hope, okay, everybody will use it in a way as we, so, uh, as we have planned. Um, so it's really about now exploring the opportunities of 5G together with the verticals. Uh, we as Nokia, we are, for example, active with the automotive sector. We're having a, um, a real-world trial uh, on a motorway in Germany. It's currently LTE, so we are connecting, you know, the cars on, on this motorway with LTE. And uh, they get alerts, you know, uh, when they want to overtake and the car is coming from behind, uh, getting alerts about traffic accidents and so on. And this is the first step into what we call autonomous driving. Some of these, these new verticals that we're describing, um, there's a bit of a chicken and egg problem in that, in that uh, there are technologies that, that are being used or being invested in, and we have to show that, that this, the 5G technology offers more. Um, but in order to do that, we, we have to actually engage these verticals. So there's a, a process. I think uh, one, one of the most positive aspects of 5G is the, the rapid and dramatic developments in 4G. And so many of these verticals that we're describing are, are picking up 4G technology and making great strides. And as we see adoption there, uh, 5G is part of the family of, of 3GP standards. And so I think it, the, the momentum is building even before the 5G system is available. This is Guy Daniels for Telecom TV at 5G World London.